Hi, okay guys, it's uh, G here with Lorenzo. We're going to do War Game Wednesday episode 17-ish. Uh, depending on when you watch this video, there's going to be a whole bunch of shit going up on the website. So this might be episode 17, it might be episode friggin' 19, who knows. But right now we're going to call it episode 17. Uh, we're playing Fires of Armada this week. We're playing scenario 3. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. And Lorenzo oh. has the paper. Here we go. Scenario 3 is uh, critical defense. The attackers... Just read the fluff. ...have located an installation that is critical to the defender's control of this sector, and must destroy it to gain strategic advantage prior to moving their, um, moving their invasion fleet. The defenders know this, and are rushing reinforce reinforcements to the installation as fast as they possibly can. This game is actually supposed to be eight turns. We're going to cut it down to six. Um, other than that, there's really nothing to talk about. So we're going to come back once Lorenzo's finished deploying his stuff. And... I expect to lose this game. Okay, so um, I ended up winning the initiative role, uh, and I decided to be attacker and let G be the defender. G elected to place his um, asteroid installations, which use the like uh, military installation rules, uh, like so. I deployed my forces as so. The reasons should be pretty obvious, and I've chosen to use my gunships first. And I played an engine overburn card to get them a little more distance <laughs> to make sure I could get them into range band two. So. Um, I gotta roll the 15 AD and uh, see what happens. That sounds horrible, sorry, the way I phrased that. Mm. Uh, okay, so Lorenzo's gunships uh, uh, did a point of damage. Yeah, they did one do point of damage to the space station, and that's about it. The space station launched a wing of fighters, and then it also is shooting its gun at the, I guess, the closest gunship, which at this point would be either one of them. So I'm gonna just choose after I roll Okay, that. so I did a point of damage with the asteroid station, which is that big circle with the dice on it. Yep. Uh, to his gunship. Yep, and, and I've got his... my uh, squad of painted cruisers. I'm in range band three, and I'm firing at the station. Just put it on the floor, I'll grab it in a minute. Uh, okay, so that flight that the space station launched attacked the gunship. Uh, two ships died, Lorenzo rolled five, five, six, six. Uh, so killed two. Uh, and the other three were fine, they attacked. Okay, so Lorenzo moved that <laughs> squadron of cruisers that he's lovely pointing at with his nice ring. Oh. All I saw, dude, was like your thumb and your rig. Oh. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, range band three. Installation and again. Range band okay, three. so Lorenzo at range band three didn't manage to do anything. Yeah, that's alright. Range band three's killing you. Oh, no, filming. <laughs> well, film your. Oh, yeah, my, my carrier his shot carrier. at his gunship, then one point of damage with its torpedoes through the asteroid belt, which is. Yeah, unfathomable. And then I activated this squad of painted frigates and didn't do anything to the station. Okay, so now I'm left with my destroyer. So uh, G elected to deploy his destroyers by a full space entry. Well, actually, he had to. So I don't have the. Yeah, he rolled the six, so they came in fine. He deployed them over here, fired at range band three. Uh, he deployed them with cut engines, by the way. Uh, you have to. Uh, uh, okay. And uh, fired at my gunships and apparently didn't do anything. And then I uh, rolled to deploy the uh, frigates I got from the uh, rolling at the start of the turn. And I rolled a two, so they can't come in this turn and can't come in next turn either. So now I have two squads of frigates left to use, and I'm going to go about using them. Okay, so I activated my painted squad of frigates and did one point of damage to the space station. And then I activated these two frigates over here, and uh, he canceled enough of the shields that they didn't do any damage. That completes the end of the first turn, and uh, we're going to see who goes first next turn, and then now uh, we're going to keep going. Shake the again! Week. You ready? Yeah. Our beer of the week this week is Muskoka Brewery's Mad Tom IPA. Well, it's his beer of the week. Yeah, that's right, it's my beer of the week. My beer of the week this is This is one hell of an uh, India Pale Ale. It's, um, it's got some great fruit aromatics. And it's uh, got a really, really strong hop kick, like a real um, unwatered down IPA. And it's a uh, really good beer. I highly recommend trying it. Okay, now back to the game. Right, now back to the game. I activated my gunships first, because, like, why the hell not? I managed to do one point of damage to the installation and. And um, drove off of a squad of I, fighters. Yep, drove off a squad of fighters while killing one of them. So, all in all, that was reasonable for uh, my first activation. Yep. Yeah. It's recording, but just let me pan. Okay, yeah. so um, I did one point of damage with the first squad of painted cruisers, did I not? Yeah. And then I used my, uh, he uh, fired... The bomber at, wing. Right. The bomber wing, he uh, fired at um, my... 
uh, gunships and uh, scored a critical. So it, that one only has one HP left. And then I activated my unpainted squad of cruisers and fired at the installation. I did 20 points of damage altogether, so it is it was spectacular. Very, very dead. So uh, uh, now yeah. it's uh, his turn, and I believe he still has um, carrier. The it. carrier and his base. And, yeah, and, and, the base. And, and, and the destroyers. No, the destroyer shot at the beginning of the turn. They did? No, they didn't. Oh, no, they haven't. They definitely haven't shot yet. You're right, yeah. All right, so the destroyer's there. I uh, shot at Lorenzo's... Unpainted squad of cruisers and did one point of damage to the middle one. Because that's the only one they could shoot at. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I activated my uh, one of my squads of painted frigates, moved it up, couldn't shoot at anything anyway through the asteroid field. Uh, the installation shot at the frigates. It um, killed one of the frigates with its port guns and its torpedoes failed to do anything. So now it's uh, my turn. Lorenzo's right. moving his whole army. Yeah, I, come moved up, I moved up some more frigates. <laughs> he had to convince me to film this. I didn't want to film this. I didn't think you needed yeah, to. He this. Uh, activated the two squads: one of bombers, one of fighters. And I just want to point out uh -huh. because it is we are playing with the new. I guess I don't want to call it second edition, but well, one the new edition, edition of the rule book. Yeah. Um, so fighters now are a lot easier to move. You have a dice that marks how many fighters are in the wing. You cannot have more than six fighters in a wing. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't say fighters. You can't have more than six. Wings in a flight. So when you move a flight, it's a token and a D6. Yes. It's so much better than moving freaking tokens around, finding yeah. tokens. Awesome. Best change in the addition so far. That's it. So I activated my two gunships first and uh, rolled a total of 11 AD against uh, the uh, second installation with my port guns. And with 11 dice, I managed to roll a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 points of damage. So, good game. because I'm intelligent, I zoomed in over you, don't worry. Because I'm intelligent, I decided to use my destroyers before Lorenzo moved his cruisers. I almost didn't, I almost shot at his gunships, just out of, like, habit. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I learned, and I, I shot with my destroyers, and they actually managed to do a uh, critical hit to that middle cruiser, so now its movement is halved. Which is, I'll take it. <laughs> no, it's recording now. That wasn't on there. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and now you'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought in uh, one of the squads of frigates that I rolled at the start of the one I rolled at the start of two turns ago, which failed to come in on full space entry at that turn and couldn't come in until this turn. So I brought them in over there in range band two, fired at the installation. Did a point of damage, uh, but he cancelled it with his shields, and uh, it's his activation now. Yeah. Fair of Curse Del Bob the Builder. Uh, um, I hate my life. That uh, asteroid station shot at uh, Laura's gunship and killed one. As you can see, there's now only one gunship, and the frig that was behind it that was already wounded. Yep. Okay, huh. as you can see, there, there's a bomber wing that's in contact with that gunship. It flew past a frigate. A uh, frigate took its point defense, but didn't do anything and then the gunship killed two. Right? That's how it happened? Yep. So then there was only four left, they rolled their dice, they did a critical hit. I uh, got a hard pounding. Hard pounding. Yeah. So, so it's two points of damage and uh, two CPAP. Yeah. So then uh, now I moved my squad yeah. two frigates, the the bare metal ones that don't have the other stuff attached. And uh, it's uh, G's activation now. Yep. And I have no idea what I even have left. Okay, so I got another bomber in there, it took one casualty and then it fired on the gunship. Did one point, uh, did one point uh, I just moved the rest of my ships. Uh, that way I didn't do any more damage to his installation. Then this um, turn. G brought I in moved the, on my uh, frigates. squads of frigates using full space entry. And um, they are firing uh, at the um, painted squad of frigates over there, the three frigates here. They're using... Um, three of the ships are linking fire for eight dice with their torpedoes at one of the ships. And then the other ship is splitting its 4 PD across all three ships, so I have to split my 5 PD as 2, 1, 1, and 1. Yep. So. Yeah, that image should basically just summarize It's actually what... been a fairly quick game of Firestorm Armada. I brought another so, squad of frig yeah. frigates. Uh, I actually did manage to, you know, kill one this time, you know, which is good. Yeah. Uh, that's basically it. It's turn 4, Lorenzo gets his battleship, and we'll see who else is. Okay, so I activated uh, the front, oh nice, bumping the camera, that's great, I'm just gonna... Okay, so I activated that uh, front squad of painted frigates, I don't know if we already <laughs> recorded that. Fired at the installation, didn't do anything. G then attempted to shunt in his um, cruisers, 
and uh, roll the four so they don't come in until next turn. And then I activated a squad of unpainted frigates you see behind the painted frigates and fired at the installation and managed to do one point of damage so it has five HP left. Okay, so um, G fired with the installation at uh, my squad of uh, frigates and didn't do any damage. And then I activated those uh, the squad with only two painted frigates remaining. I moved it up, fired at the installation, and didn't accomplish anything. So now it's G's activation, and uh, we'll see what, going, what happens. Okay, so I activated um, my painted squad of cruisers. I moved them into position to fire at the installation. I scored a critical with their four fixed guns, and I scored another critical with their um, torpedoes. Thank God. So the uh, installation now has one HP left. And between that, I believe G activated his destroyers because he's already in full on let's call the game mode. So I brought in my battleship, I shunted it in uh, to go for the kill shot because what the hell, why not? I'm tired and, of being here. Uh, I rolled 16 AD and managed to score 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 points of damage, which is a double critical. It's dead. Good game. And it might be episode friggin' 19, who knows? But right now we're gonna call it episode 17. Uh, we're playing Fires of Armada this week, we're playing scenario 3. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, and Lorenzo oh. has the paper. Here we go. Scenario three is uh, critical defense. The attackers just read the fluff. Have located an installation that is critical to the defenders. And I expect to lose this game. Okay, so um, I ended up winning the initiative roll, uh, and I decided to be attacker and let G be the defender. G elected to place his um, asteroid installations, which use the like uh, military installation rules, uh, like control of this sector, and must destroy it to gain strategic advantage prior to moving their um, moving their invasion fleet. The defenders know this and are rushing reinforce reinforcements to the installation as fast as they possibly can. This game is actually supposed to be eight turns. We're going to cut it down to six. Um, other than that, there's really nothing to talk about. So we're going to come back once Lorenzo's finished deploying his stuff. And like so, I deployed my forces as so. The reasons should be pretty obvious. And I've chosen to use my gunships first. And I played an engine overburn card to get them a little more distance <laughs> to make sure I could get them into range band two. So um, I roll the 15 AD and uh, see what happens. That sounds horrible. Sorry, the way I phrased that. Uh... Hi, okay guys, it's uh, G here with Lorenzo. We're going to do War Game Wednesday episode 17-ish. Uh, depending on when you watch this video, there's going to be a whole bunch of shit going up on the website. So this might be episode 